Hello. The purpose of this video is to start looking at trigonometry and physics. So we'll look at it how the Greeks did. Uh, we're going to make a quadrant. We'll take a protractor, a small piece of string with a, a loop tied at the end. Put the string through the hole of the protractor. Tie it. Granny knot. Okay. Next, you're going to take your meter stick and you have to line it up so that. Lines are even. So, level like that. Take your couple strands of duct tape, put it around. Like that. Use two. Try to make sure that protractor itself is very parallel to the stick. There we go. And then we flip it over. And we take our mass and hang it on there. And now we have a quadrant. Wherever I point, this will be the hypotenuse and this will be the angle because gravity always points straight down, it's going to pull this mass straight down. We're going to be using these today to try to determine the angle of a triangle, because we're going to be determining the heights of some buildings on campus. So, something like this, and the angle Sixty degrees. So that's what we we're going to use this quadrant for: is measuring the angle when we point at something too high for us to touch. So for today's activity, we'll need to measure this angle as our stick points from the ground to the tip of whatever we're trying to figure the height of. Let's remember, this is too high for us to go up and, and physically measure it, so what we'll do is we'll get the angle, and then we'll get this distance, and then we will look at what we know about this right triangle or this is the hypotenuse, this is the opposite, this is the adjacent. If we knew the length of the adjacent, because we can actually walk it or pace it or measure it with our meter stick, we can know this x, we can know the adjacent, and now that we know the angle, let's say we wanted to know this opposite leg. So we need to ask ourselves what trig function relates the opposite leg and the adjacent leg. Tangent of theta is equal to the opposite leg over the adjacent leg. So if we know this adjacent height and we know the angle, we would multiply and that would give us the opposite leg which is in uh, meters if our adjacent leg is in meters. So uh, in this case we would have the tangent of 60 degrees is equal to whatever uh, uh, multiplied times whatever the distance of the base of our triangle is. That's how we're going to figure out the height of some objects on campus today. So our first step is to build our quadrant, then review the video so we can determine our angles. We'll need to come up with a plan on getting this base length, and then here's our trig. 
It's just a nice uh, introduction to trigonometry and describing something physically with it. You guys probably did this in your biology class. Thank you. Biology, I'm sorry. Geometry.